All right, so we're back. This is part two video uh, on making the board and mounting our Glock uh, 22, 1722 mold to a board. Um, <clears throat> so I got everything, you know, prepped up, sanded up. Um, it's filled in with the, uh, was it steel stick? Uh, I'm using this stuff, so we're going to give that a shot. Um, so we need to measure out the dimensions of our board. Uh, we'd like to leave, you know, about a half inch on either side. Um, so here we're looking at a, you know, it's all rough estimates. So we can go about an eight by eight by eight should be good. So we've got some half inch HDPE and we will cut an eight by eight square out of that. So let me go to the saw and get that done. All right, so we got our board cut eight by eight and it looks pretty squared up. So what we're gonna have to do is draw our lines on our board and make sure we find the center and our bottom. Um, and that will be our reference point. So when we go to mount this, uh, we're good to go. Um, so same as steps before, um, you can either do that on your HDPE or do what I like to do is lay down a piece of paper um, I use spray adhesive when I mount this uh, stuff to the board and this stuff doesn't really like to stick to the HDP. The QLH molds don't like to stick to the HDPE uh, with the spray adhesive, but it, both of them love paper. So we're going to put a piece of paper in between them. All right, so we have our board made 8x8. We've got a half inch from the bottom. That's going to be our guideline. We've marked our center points and then... We have a total spacings of an inch and one sixteenth um, in between um, these two. So that's going to be our sight channel. So we just have to glue our QLH mold down to the board uh, with the spray adhesive. So we're going to clean the back sides of these with the, what am I using, brake cleaner. <clears throat> and get them nice and grease free so the spray adhesive can really stick to it. All right, so we're all glued up. Uh, we're gonna give this thing about, uh, or we gave it about 15 minutes to uh, set up, so the glue is now cured. Um, the molds are glued down. Um, so we're gonna drill our holes and um, put our pins in. Uh, and again, when you drill your holes, you want to go um, in a V pattern. So this side will be this side, or this way, uh, at angle and the back side will be at this angle so you want that v from the from the bottom um, and that'll give you so when you pop the kydex off your mold's not going to get stuck in there and come off with it um, so we're going to go drill our holes and uh, get our pins set so i'm going to go drill them. all right so we've got our uh, holes drilled uh, we've got uh, two for each side and two for that back side. <clears throat> um, one of the holes drilled out uh, a little too deep, um, started to bubble up, so we'll just put some tape on there so we can glue it in and then sand it smooth. No big deal. Um, we've got our pins made. Um, we've got these little one inch pins. They're going to go in there. Uh, again, they're in there at an angle. And then the other side. Um, uh, uh, the pins, uh, you want to make sure that you bevel the ends of that. It helps them go in a little easier. So now we're set up to go. So we're going to glue these down and let them cure. Um, so we're going to speed up the video for that. All right, so we've got uh, we've got the uh, pins in; they're glued in. So we're going to cut these flush <clears throat> and sand them down, uh, so we have a nice flat board. But essentially, there we go. So uh, the next video is going to be um, uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna finish up. So we're gonna put some more block outs down here for some adjustable retention. Um, but you know, it's it's cut and dry stuff, so you'll see the end results and get the idea. Uh, and we're going to tack our nails down in here so we have some protrusion going on when, uh, when we press our kydex. Uh, but the next video is going to be making the holster. Two thumbs up.